Hello and welcome to Two and Door Gaming, and here we are with my mod pack. Yes, mine slash RPG. That's what I decided to call it. So at least it said basically what it's focused on. <laughs> and uh, the name wasn't taken. Anyway, so this is my answer to dank RPG being basically mothballed. Uh, I was really enjoying that mod pack, but if it's not going to be updated, then I got to move on. So I thought, well, rather than just recreating it, I would try and get this the things I enjoyed from that update it from 114 to 115 really get it modern and make things happen that has meant I've lost a few of the mods that I did really enjoy because they have not been updated to 115 to go with the mod pack but I've gotten most of what I want so I'm happy to run with that I've also ditched a bunch of stuff from dank that I didn't really use or appreciate that much uh yeah i may as well make it suit me and then go from there basically so this is the title screen that i've done up and uh we've got a special button here for mod pack feedback if you would i would love for you to download this mod pack test it out and give me all the feedback you can when you click on that button it takes you to the uh, Curse Forge page for this mod pack and there's a nice big space for comments here uh, that you can send me your suggestions what you like what you don't like what you think might go well uh, and it, as long as it goes with the theme I don't want it to really drift into uh, sort of the tech stuff maybe i might be open a little more magic stuff um but I, I wanted to keep it sort of in that feel of of ft uh, of rpg so uh as it says on the page the major things i'm sort of focused around are things like the dungeon call keeping that in there for the spice of it everlasting ability has only just been added to 115 too and in my first play rounds with this mod pack i couldn't have it and i was a bit sad about that but it's there now so sweet uh ftb quests because i really enjoy quests helping out people learn the mods and stuff good night sleeps so i'm not even really explored that yet but i love the idea of it so I, i've kept that now this is an interesting one that i haven't had before it certainly wasn't in dank and this is macaws bridges doors furniture roofs and windows just adds a little more spice to your builds you can make it a little more uh exciting so this build i did just for the title page I was really disappointed that I didn't have a lot of options with the doors to make it look more castle-like. Um, and the doors in McCaw's doors are quite good. And then, you know, the furniture just adds a few things. Roofs, so it's not steps. It's actually roofs, which is cool. And windows that open. Ooh. Uh, well, you can check all that out. A cool thing about the doors mod is that the, yeah, all the vanilla style doors are available in every of the vanilla wood style does that make sense so you know how the uh oak door looks a certain way well you if you like that look but you prefer the color of the birch well you can have the the oak style in the birch color mm, cool mine and slash obviously mine colonies just for a little extra flavor mystical agriculture because it's fun and Z mod skills which is an interesting one the more you do stuff that you get little bonuses for it so like if you dig a lot then you'll start getting lumps of coal extra when you dig that sort of stuff and if you mine ores it can get a bunch extra so ftb i put in a bunch of stuff there this is more opportunity for um for server packs and stuff that i'll look into later okay so yeah you can have check that out but we can look at the mod pack so i'll skip ahead to the world because whenever i load in a world it always chucks up the recording software so i'll be back after the flip okay so here we are we've loaded in our world and you'll immediately know some things that are familiar and some things that are not familiar mine slash the update for 115 has changed really quite a lot uh the the, the mod developer has taken the opportunity to add a bunch of different aspects to it uh that changes things yeah uh so for a start i've got um a bag here instead of a bunch of gear but it gives you the basic gear now i'll just show you yeah we've still got one piece of common ore so you know what that looks like the one probe that's just for pointing at stuff so we can read it um you can look at that later once you read it once you don't need it again and yay everlasting ability so uh first thing you'll do is right click that 
and it takes you to your everlasting abilities page and oh I can see in the dark so you'll get a random effect I'm gonna cull some of them because they're really not that helpful like mining speed you get the mining speed one everybody in your vicinity slows down when they mine which is I don't know unless you want to bug multiplayer it's not like it affects your mobs too much so I've got to cull out some of the ones that aren't interesting but night vision is definitely handy and you'll get as many player levels as you need to actually implement it so I'll click on that I wanted I definitely want that one so now I've got it so at night I'll be able to see or down in the dark dungeons and that's empty now uh, so yep yeah, just right click that and it'll throw out all your newbie gear you can make one of these as well and it's all there if you want to put it on just right click doo, 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 put on the rings it's going to be basic stats only you can't even um put these in the in the gear reclamation station it's not really that helpful now one this is something uh this is really really funky remember in 114 you started with uh some skill points ability points well if you press h which is the default key for your mine and slash stuff what h for hub here we go you've got a lot more stuff on here map info that's if you get a map obviously uh press uh spell bar that's for over here that thing on the right there that's your spell bar stat info so your basic stats I wish there was like a back back button anyway um, but this is what you're used to seeing the big talent tree it's here slightly modified but oh you know and it's got these what the what some extra funky stuff thrown in there so you get to explore that a little might be best to wait till the evening uh, and it's safe to do that I always go over here because I like the energy boost and this um, dexterity and stamina so yeah I always tend to go over this way a little more bonus energy but you can explore and work out which way you want to process that it, but there are sorry I actually should show you the, the idea is to give it a little more flavor of the RPG so if you go over here you got like stealth and some funky is it this way uh, I've forgotten now but yeah you, you've got a few more abilities that, are, that affect that sort of stuff it's really quite interesting to explore stat points so yeah you're familiar with this if you've played previous iterations if not these affect your stats if you want to know which ones it'll pop up here um, I'll just give a quick rundown of mine and, mine and slash if you don't know if you haven't seen previous ones over here this is your like your energy for attacking so that will go down up whatever so if that gets to zero you could swing your sword but it won't do any damage that sort of thing this is your spell points for magic stuff over on this side is your health now before in 114 this seemed a little bit separate to this it didn't really play too well uh, but now it's fully integrated this is this reflects you this and you will need to eat if you want to heal up and this is your experience points separate to your the usual minecraft experience points this is purely for killing mobs uh, so yeah whereas this one's all the usual mining ore that sort of stuff and when you use when you level up here it and you use that for bonuses like this it, it doesn't affect here and when you use that it doesn't affect there so these two skill or levels are separate this one's good for everlasting abilities and your usual enchanting otherwise that's what you're looking for for mining slash stuff and but this is it, spells whoa i'm not going to go into it right now um but you can choose like a specialty f and say nature and then you like give yourself some uh ability like that's your base ability at the school and then you can put points into p particular spells which you can then put over here so some of them are over here some of them are buffs and some of them are sort of uh what's the other one uh when when it's on all the time in the background I've forgotten the word anyway so yeah mine and slash there's new stuff to explore there but um, the big thing is quests of course quests quests I love the quests but the, it's a lot of work Oop, wrong button where's my quests here we go yeah um, it's something I'm building on 
there's not a lot of tutorial stuff out there and it's not easy so it actually takes a long time to put together um, they're working on putting in there's a plan to make the GUI the graphic user interface easier but at the moment it's not easy uh, so this is a slow process but I will that's what I'm focusing on next but at the moment getting started so it's sort of your basic quest the idea is to help you with some of the new stuff not super basic uh, but things like so you can learn that the fact that um, there are clippers you don't need to get the iron to get clippers it's flint and stuff makes it a bit easier that sort of thing um, so it guides you through a few of those elements like a speedboat uh, you might never know that you can make a speedboat so I put that in as a quest to help you out uh, also some of the mine and slash that's a little the, the, the getting started and the mine and slash are pretty well well mine and slash stuff not the leveling stuff but yeah anyway you could see there a little bit of the gardening just to teach you some more of the foods that are available um, just I barely started on this that's very unformed and these are placeholders <laughs> sun's mechanisms and the different construction of op options I want to help people explore some of those and there'll be more stuff for colonies and what have you so there we go that, that, that that's that's the beginnings of the quest this is the beginnings of the mod pack there's plenty of stuff for you to explore uh like i said if we put in um what was it again uh the um uh, i've forgotten what it's called here we go <laughs> macaw yeah the macaw stuff so look you've got he's they're working on putting these this furniture to actually have storage at the moment it's just for looks but that's there as well as dr zark's furniture that's all still in there so you've got lots of options there i'll show you what i mean about the doors uh see so you've got like the styles so you spruce but it's in every color you've got the so which you know and I, I really appreciate that because there's designs I've really liked but they've been in the wrong color and I haven't been able to put them in there's a few extra metal doors uh, also shoji doors if you like the sliding doors they're a great effect as well so you got plenty of that sort of stuff to explore to build along with because you've got all of the um, the, the embellished craft blocks to play around with so you can really make some different looking builds from your your usual ones and then you've got mine colonies to explore etc uh, etc et so this is i just sort of want to introduce the mod pack um i'll probably play through a little um as long as things don't change too dramatically um one thing is or excavate is a thing so you've got that option you can't use a um empty hand though you have to have something whole it's supposed to be you have to use a tool but the fact is if you smack it with virtually anything it says oh, okay well as long as you don't have an empty hand then you're allowed to do or excavate so see what i mean <laughs> just chop down a whole tree with a lump of dirt so that was clever of me wasn't it um yeah so we've got that as a thing now i'm still trying to work out with ftb quest having or so like rather than just being okay your first quest being 16 oak wood it's 16 any wood like i said though the the the, the information out there is pretty slim i'm pretty much having to learn it all as i go and some of the features make a crash <laughs> when i tried it every time uh so that's a thing but we will get there this is the second time i tried to do a mod pack the other one was 112 and a lot of things were different with the 112 and that was also my son wanted me to do it. I was just helping him with the technical aspects of it this is the first time I've actually created it from scratch doing everything I want to do so yeah this is going to be fun and I really like I said I want just feedback let me know what you like as well as what you don't like it's good to get some positive reinforcement know what to pursue or, or what sort of theme at, themes are working and uh, we can um, I have to say I'm really enjoying playing it which i think is a really good step when you're going to create a mod pack you actually enjoy playing the mod pack 
um, yeah that's that's quite handy so we've got useful backpacks which is great in here all the minus slash stuff you can have lots of fun with it I am I guess next time I might do another video and I'll actually start properly I've lost the first day here it's not a good start um, plus I probably prefer to spawn somewhere with oak wood <laughs> yeah what are you looking at me for that's weird oh yeah 114 you used to be able to get um, mob experience from hitting the passive mobs you'll notice I'm still on zero even though I killed the sheep <laughs> so that's different also some of the um, prefixes suffixes so up the top of the sea it's got a level one weak horse and it used to be like weak rare common whatever uh, well it used to be common uncommon now it's like weak strong uh, and then you'll get something and it'll be like the prince of thorns or the thunder king <laughs> they get pretty gnarly uh, and a lot of times when the creepers go off I do have scissor which is the mod that means that the creepers won't destroy blocks floating entities yes um, but not blocks but sometimes when the creepers blow up if they've got some of those weird names they'll leave like um, poison swirls on the ground and um, yeah you best avoiding those I'll see if I can find a, a sheep with a funny name they'll st it's still get funny names but it's, oh, it's a rare sheep that's not exciting weak yeah weak come on one of you guys must be like that veteran sheep eh? <laughs> obviously when you're finding a uh, that affects how much health the actual aggro mobs have how so how hard it is to kill them and it's really tough a veteran sort of creeper because you need to hit him like eight times and they're already fun enough come on anybody got a fun name red venomous sheep there we go <laughs> but when it's a sheep that doesn't actually do anything it doesn't make him super uh just fun uh with the name what about this donkey it's a weak donkey Pfft, weak disgrace okay I'm having too much fun just running around uh, but yeah okay mm. weak chicken weak you're all weak so that's the fun uh, this is the mod pack kicking off um, next episode we'll see I'll get I'll get started like hey get off yeah thanks for watching mm.